The Provost Award for Excellence honor our faculty members' outstanding achievements and service. These individuals represent the very best of Cal Poly Pomona's teacher-scholar model. The 2013 honorees are Professor Laurie Starkey for Excellence in Teaching, Professor Ernie Simpson for Excellence in Service, and Professor Villapanur Ravi for Excellence in Scholarship and Creative Activities. So what I love about Cal Poly and what really brought me to, uh, to, to the institution and has made me so happy here and, and has uh, ensured that I'll be here happily for my, for my entire career uh, is really its focus on teaching because I do think you remember your whole life, those professors who cared, the professors who made a difference, the professors who um, you know, made it, made it enjoyable to, to come to class and, and you really feel like you learned something from it and you really feel like you accomplished something that you couldn't have accomplished without that professor. If I could encapsulate Lori in one uh, word, it would be enthusiastic. I don't think I've ever met somebody who is as passionate about her organic chemistry um, and, and making sure that everybody loves it as much as she does. And so I think that comes through in everything she does. One of the things that I think sets Dr. Starkey apart from the other professors that I've had is that she has built her entire career on making a very difficult subject easy to manage. She remembers what it's like to be a student, what it's like to have a hard time, what it's like to be a novice, to have never seen the material before. So I, I think what makes a department strong, a program strong, a, a course strong and teaching effective is always focusing on um, the student that we're serving. She cares so much about her students that it surpasses the classroom. And that's one of the things that I think I needed as a student was to know that someone cared about my learning other than me. One thing about Lori is that she's a very positive individual and everywhere she goes she has a positive effect. She changes things for the better. And you know the push, push, push is toward the research and those um, achievements. And I appreciate that because that helps the university grow, that helps bring in money for the university, that helps sustain the university. It is critical. Um, but at the same time, it can't come at the expense of the teaching excellence. That doesn't bring us fame and fortune, but that's what is best for the students. That's what makes the students um, achieve their, their goals. Since most of our graduates go into industry, I felt there was a need for them to get some industrial experience. So I developed the industrial chemistry option. I got involved with the cooperative education program. It doesn't matter how good an idea is, if you don't have that passionate person, and Ernie in three or four things in service, such as the cooperative education, wine education, he created the chemist and industry class and he got involved in chemistry education. He felt that passion and he achieved enormous stuff. It's really amazing what you can do if you have the passion to do it. From my interactions with him, you know, I learned uh, about his dedication to whatever he was doing. He, he, he takes that, you know, and jumps into it 100%. I asked uh, Debbie down in the foundation office if she could tell me how many total of the grants and contracts and uh, uh, that, that I helped start and continue, and that, that adds up to over four million. Opportunities present themselves, but if I hadn't been involved with the ACS and wine to a certain extent, uh, a lot of these things wouldn't have happened for me or anyone else here. Service, as typified by Ernie, I think is the most effective form of service because it's directly affecting people. The cooperative education program that I helped start in 78, probably the a really significant uh, enjoyment that I've received uh, being here at Cal Poly because those some 2,000 students that uh, you know benefited from the program. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little. <laughs> If you expect nothing but the best from people, very often you get it. So you must expect the best from our students and 
when you set that expectation and then provide them the tools to, to meet those expectations, then you can succeed. I really think that what sets Dr. Ravi apart is just the, how, how much he really cares about it. And you can really tell right, right away that he's so involved in this. Uh, in the classroom, he's amazing. He's, he just, he's so enthusiastic about it. He knows exactly what to talk about. And really just make sure everyone gets engaged and really push them to get their full potential out of what they're trying to do. He uh, is exploring areas of knowledge which are uh, at, the, at the frontier. And um, that gets passed on to the students through the, through the lectures it gets passed on. And then nearly all of the research that he does is being done by undergraduates. And those students are, are doing uh, work at the forefront of science and engineering. I always look at what is it that I have done that by my being here has left an indelible mark on the institution. And the, the biggest thing is the training of the students and having a positive impact on their lives. That's one big thing I'm hoping it's a legacy that will continue to give and to show by practice that undergraduate research can be cutting edge, undergraduate research can be moving the field forward. We're an undergraduate educationally focused institution and setting up uh, a facility and creating research capabilities which compete with the best of them in this environment is not an easy thing to do. It's a lot of hard work. So I really think it's, it's very important for undergraduates to start doing uh, some research um, early on in their, in their college career because it really helps uh, reinforce what they're learning in the classroom and it, it really takes you into more depth on subjects. Undergraduate research to me is a cornerstone of what I do, do here. To me it's the most important thing and I believe very strongly that students learn um, enormously, enormously.